Welcome back to the Coach's Corner. Joined now with Ed Hoddle. And Coach, uh, Lebval wanted to control the game, the tempo a little bit on the, with the running game. Um, talk a little bit of how you guys combated that on Saturday. Well, you know, the first thing we were able to do was be efficient on the offensive side of the ball. I think um, we had a total of seven possessions on Saturday, and we scored on four of them. So, you know, when you limit possessions you have to be efficient in your offense mm -hmm. and two of those seven possessions were kneel down situations at the end mm -hmm. of the half and at the end of the game so really only having an opportunity to have five possessions and being able to score on four of them was certainly um, our biggest piece to, to combat that and and like I said post game they did a really nice job um, you know with their game plan and, and and I've been there before as a coach and um, that's something that, that that's hard to combat and our guys mm -hmm. did, did a real good job. And let's talk a little bit about that offensive effort, mainly the QB and receiver core. Uh, Daniel Williams goes 13 of 13 in the first half and finishes 23 of 28. Talk a little bit of how, how those guys played this week. Uh, very efficient. And we knew going in we were going to have to be efficient. Um, you know, I think one of the more remarkable stats, aside from going, you know, throwing 82 percent, was we didn't turn the ball over. Mm -hmm. um, you know, again, looking at offensive proficiency, you know, that's a big piece to it. Um, you know, the thing you look at a day like that from Dan and the offense, and, and know there's still a lot of things we can we can do to, to make it even better. So mm -hmm. that's the exciting part for us. And then you talked about those uh, not giving the ball up, but you guys had two takeaways. Uh, now 36 straight games with a takeaway. Talk a little bit how the defense is playing and how you keep that stellar performance going. Uh, you know, that's Coach Johnson and, and, and the culture of that particular group at this point. Um, you know, taking the ball away is an emphasis. It has been an emphasis mm -hmm. since he's been our coordinator. Um, and, the, and the players and the guys have really bought into it. And, and now it, it, it's a great sense of pride uh, and excitement when we, we do take the ball away. Um, but it's also a commitment to the hard work that, that we've done um, both in practice and the film room throughout the course of the week. It's just it's a remarkable thing to watch. And moving into this week, um, what were the things that you guys learned from last week that are going to be essential to correct uh, to get the W on Saturday? Well, I, again, it's, it's just finding the consistency. I, I don't think we've played four quarters of great football in all three phases yet. Um, and that's one of our goals this week is to, to really get everybody focused, locked in for, for four full quarters of offense, defense, and teams. And, you know, I think if we can do that, we're going to have some success later on in the year. And you guys move up uh, three spots in the national rank and must be feel good, feeling good going into this week. Um, it is what it is. You, you know, again, we, we week to week mentality. Um, we've got to be focused on our next opponent. Mm -hmm. You know, Saturday, um, and, and really, you know, turn, you know, tune out the noise and, mm -hmm. and be locked into what we're doing. Well, coach, good luck this Saturday with FDU moving in at home. Uh, he's Ed Hoddle. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Coach's Corner.